I guess you're tired of seeing these boring looking icons on your file explorer. So now you want to change from this to this. Welcome to this channel. Let's jump straight to it. Now we're going to head on straight to our browser. And right now in DeviantArt.com, first thing you want to do is to create an account real quick. Before you can download anything from here, just create an account. I'll be leaving all these links for you guys in the description. Just click on this download icon. So once that's downloaded, we're going to go to the next one here. Just going to download it. Just click on download. After downloading these two files, we're going to head on to the file location, which is our download. Okay. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here under this blue icon pack, we're just going to remove this remove. <laughs> Funny, right? We're going to remove the remove. Just go ahead and remove this. Make sure it ends with the Z, okay? Let it end with the Z, then just tap on enter. And when you get this notification, click on yes. So I'm just going to extract this file. I'm using WinRAR, by the way. You can use any file extractor of your choice, okay? So these are the files which we extracted from this installer. What you're going to do right now is to edit this. Right in the middle of these two is just put X here. Just put an X. So it's going to be dot exe all right tap on enter so when you get this notification just go ahead and click on yes again all right so now we have this setup file all you have to do is to double click on this and um, go up to add a custom pack click on that and right now we're going to head on to download and we're going to choose this 7 tsp blue icon pack just click on that and select open Next thing you're going to do is just to click on the start patching. Just click on that. You're going to get this notification. It's going to ask you if you want to continue. Just click on yes. This process is going to take a while. So give it time roughly around two to three minutes. Once the patching is done, you're going to get this notification asking you to reboot. And of course, you have to reboot anyway. So uh, just click on yes. Okay. Click on yes. After restart, you get this, the system has been patched. Click on OK. Now let's check the file explorer. Now, as you can see, we have these beautiful looking blue icons here. It's looking good already. Now we can even make it better. I'm going to show you how to make this file explorer translucent. We're going to head back to our browser. Okay. And the third link here is at github.com. We have this explorer blow maker. We're going to scroll down here and we're going to go to this right side here. Click on latest, scroll down here and you're just going to click on the first one here that says release x64, just click on that. After installing that, we're just going to head on to the download. Let me expand this. Now here's the release zip file, just right click on it and extract it. Just open this release folder, double click on that. Now of all the options here, we're just going to register it, just double click on register. Click on yes and just click on OK. Activation process will close the file explorer. Just proceed to reopen it. Exit this. Now we have this file explorer with a bit of blur effect, but we're going to make some changes here. Okay, we're going to make it a bit more attractive. So we're going to go back to this release folder. Go ahead and double click on config. So right, we're just going to edit this A, we're going to change it from 200, we're going to change it to 50, all right, type in 50, then go up here to the file, then just save it, okay? After doing that, just X on this, then close your file explorer and reopen it. And now the blur effect is more evident and you can see that it's more translucent. Let me show you how to go back to default mode. Let's say you don't want this anymore on your computer and you want to remove it. Head back to your downloads. Now, if you want to remove this blue icon, you want to change it back. All you have to do is to double click on this. Just double click on this setup right here. Just go ahead and click on restore. Eventually, you still have to reboot your computer again to go back to the default mode, okay? Because I'm not going to remove it now. I'm just going to X on this. I'm going to close this. Now, if you want to delete this blow maker, all you have to do is to go to the release folder. Just uninstall it, okay? Double click on uninstall and reboot your computer. Now, that is all you have to do to get back to your default mode, okay? That'll be all for now guys. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Leave this video a like. I'll be waiting for your comments at the comment section. 
Have a nice day. Peace out. <laughs>